What's up guys? It's Nick. Welcome back to my channel where I empower you to take on adulting like a boss. In today's video, I'm going to share how I can actually track and budget my expenses using my credit card. I know what you're thinking. Using my credit card? Hindi pa sinasabi ng mga tao na wag ka gumamit ng credit card kasi malulubog ka lang sa utang. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can actually use your credit card to your advantage and make sure that you are utang free. So in this video, I'm going to share how using your credit card could actually make budgeting so much easier. And it's just in a few steps. Tip number one is take note of your cut of date so you could strategically split your expenses. So what does a cut off date mean? It would differ per credit card that you have, but I personally, I strategically have two credit cards with two cut off dates so I could split my payment into two. So I'll give you an example. During Black Friday sale last 2020, so that happened end of November, since credit card A, the cut off date is on the 28th, I made sure I bought half of what I needed on that day before the 28th, but I have another credit card, which is credit card B, and the cut off date is on the 9th. So what I did, I restocked the other half that I wanted on December 8th. So that meant that I will be paying those two into separate billing dates. So you know what I mean? Like if you strategically use your credit cards, especially if you have two and two cut of dates, which is the most efficient way to do it. Because sometimes, for example, one credit card, I used it to buy, let's say, a laptop. And I have a huge amount that took up a huge chunk of my credit card. So I still have another credit card which I can use for my groceries, for my grab, so that I don't feel so overwhelmed that I have to pay everything all at once in one billing date. I use to my advantage the cut of date so that I don't pay everything all at once, especially if you get paid with your salary every 15th and every 30th of the month. It works very well for me because every 15th I pay the bills and includes my credit card A billing by end of the month. I pay my credit card B billing statement plus my other bills that I need to pay for. So in that way, you're not gonna get broke um, mid of the month or end of the month because you were strategic enough to split your expenses in a way that will fit your monthly salary. So basically, the cut of date is your cap. Everything that you spent within that duration before the 28th or the 9th of the month, that's what you're gonna pay for your billing statement when you really need to pay your credit card. Tip number two is know your credit limit and set a budget cap. So the great thing about your credit card, which could also be the downfalls of anyone, is that the more you use your credit card, the more that your bank will be happy and increase your credit limit. So just to give an example, I started with 15,000 credit card limit when I first got my credit card. And it's much higher now because I've been using my credit card for like four, four years consistently and I've been paying the full amount. So with that comes the temptation okay the credit limit that your bank gives you is not something that is free so when you complete that cap you need to pay that on your billing date which i mentioned earlier so what you need to do is it's so easy to track your credit limit all you need to do is download the mobile app of your credit card so mine is vpi and it's so easy to check okay let's say my credit limit is fifty thousand, and i can see i've consumed already like 20k more than 20k and that usually is my benchmark sometimes i'm like i kind of want to splurge on this but i'm not sure so i check my bpi credit card limit where i am and it's not doing good so it'll be like girl control yourself but another thing that you can do is also set a budget cap for yourself so just discipline yourself so for example if your credit card statement is fifty thousand, but based on your salary you can really only pay let's say 10,000 of that on a monthly basis then make sure that when you look at your your mobile app and see how much you've already um, consumed then you'll be like okay I've already spent 5,000 and I'm not even close to my cutoff date yet then maybe I should like just be more careful or mindful that I only have 5,000 left in my internal budget cap so do not use your credit limit as your cap because the moment you do that is the moment where victim ka ng credit card because it means that most likely you are living paycheck to paycheck wherein inubos man salary mo because of 
all your credit card expenses which is we don't want that you want to make sure that we are only spending what we need maybe sometimes you know sprinkle there what we want but making sure that we don't go beyond what we can actually afford tip number three is kind of what i mentioned earlier is that it's good to track your expenses via your mobile app it is the modern times wherein i'm so grateful that you can easily track everything that you spend through a mobile app i used to be that person wherein i just have an excel sheet taking note of every single thing from the show my i bought to the fruit shake i got and it became so exhausting so what i do is that most of the time i'd say 90 percent of the time i use my credit card to buy almost anything for the following reasons number one the more you use your credit card the more that your credit score is going to be good and when your credit score is good it means that it's easy for you to get a loan in the future it's as easy as that if nakita ng bank madami kang utang you're not paying your credit card on time they're not gonna give you a loan in the future that you want a house you want to build a business and all that so if they see that you're a great payer then they're gonna reward you but at the same time if you're not paying on time they will also not be nice to you the second reason why i do that is because when i use my credit card i can easily look at all my expenses through the app and it's so easy to see like okay i kind of went overboard with my food panda expense this week i usually either check my credit card statement or the transactions i've done since i've paid my last billing and then it gives me an idea of can i still splurge a little bit on this maybe i need to reduce my expenses a little bit more so again recap for example all of my expenses i paid using my credit card before february 9 i'll be paying that on march 31 but if i use my credit card on february 10 i'll be paying that amount by any guesses april 30. so you know what i mean like that is a big difference especially if you are really trying to be efficient with how you spend your money how you spend your salary so just keep that in mind and use it to your advantage so number four is that okay you already know your budget cap you already know you can track your expenses on your mobile app and then what? tip number four is categorize your expenses and figure out where you need to spend less so i was mentioning earlier for example when i look at my credit statement it's so much easier for me to categorize let's say my food panda expenses my grab expenses my lazada expenses um, maybe i spend too much on random things on shopee you know you can easily categorize now all those expenses rather than you know doing the tedious work every single day because why because your billing statement that your credit card gives you it already lays down specific amounts specific expenses that you did so whether it's like your groceries which i usually do on a weekly basis and it's so easy for me to know that okay every month usually i pay like five thousand for my groceries i categorize also the things or like clothes or like beauty related stuff then next month i know where to tone it down not like blindly just checking out or just swiping your credit card because that is the most dangerous thing that's why in this video it's all about how you can see all of those expenses within your phone and afterwards it's about transferring all of those expenses in an excel sheet so you can manage what you pay on the 15th and what you pay by the end of the month last tip but is the most important that you need to take away from this video because everything else i mentioned earlier is walang kwenta if you don't follow this last tip which is pay the full amount on your due date some people get surprised that oh i have to pay the full amount doesn't the credit card um, statement give you like a minimum amount due girl that is dangerous don't look at that don't even read that because if you pay the minimum amount it means that the next month there's going to be interest on the actual full amount that you spent for that month so if you cannot pay the full amount by the time that your billing statement arrives there is a problem it means that you are spending more than you can afford that's why i said that your 
your credit card could be your best friend because it's so easy to track your expenses through an app. You can easily categorize and figure out where you're spending more, where you can spend less. But if you're not paying on time, then all of that is just useless. So going back to my example, if I have my cutoff date on February 9, I need to make sure that I pay the full amount by March 31. So it's easy for me not to forget because I usually get my salary on the 15th and end of the month. And by the time I get my salary, like the moment that I get it, you know what I prioritize first? Paying off my credit card because the moment I pay that, I know what's left. Let's say your salary, you notice that your full salary, you're paying, you're using all of that to pay your credit card and there's nothing left. Maybe that's something that you can reflect on and ask yourself because when you pay off your credit card bill, there should be something left for you, whether it's for your savings, your emergency fund, your insurance, your mutual funds. A lot there's other things that you need to make sure that you put aside for your future but never ever resort to just using your credit card and just figure it out that you know I'll afford it when it comes and then you realize you just uh, don't so leave a comment down below which tip was like an aha moment for you and that will inspire you to be more mindful of your expenses and of course subscribe to my channel like this video for more personal finance adulting related videos to come and i will see you in my next video bye guys